Today we are making something a bit special. It is called a shushan. I think I said it right. I honestly have no idea. I found this mead by just sort of researching what's popular in different countries. When I looked up France and mead, I found shushan. Now let's get into the history of this mead because it's pretty neat. So Shushan comes from Brittany. It was brought to the area by Druids or Celtic priests about 500 years BC when they crossed the English Channel. The Druids settled in that area before, uh, before it became France, actually. Part of what makes Shushan interesting as well, besides its history, is how it is made. So it's essentially a cider turned into a mead. So you ferment apple juice first, and then you add in honey. The recipe calls for a buckwheat honey. The original recipe also includes crushed bees and bee venom. Legend has it, it was so strong the person who drank it could suddenly fall backwards and wake up three days later with a terrible headache. Obviously, nowadays, Shushan is not brewed with bee venom or stingers or any other bee parts. Back then, it was also known to be very high in alcohol, which I feel is unusual for the time. It is typically drunk as an aperitif or as a table drink, and it's also recommended to drink it chilled, which I find interesting. Typically, you want to drink mead room temperature, so then you get more of the flavor. There's also a legend that Shushan was traditionally drunk on the eve of Samhain, or Halloween as we know it, which I think is pretty awesome, and I'm hoping to be able to raise a glass of this on Halloween. We'll see if it is good to drink by then or not. So I tried to find direct recipes for this online, and I was only able to find one, there's a gentleman who posted on his blog that he tried to recreate a Shushan, but what he did is he took a gallon of apple juice and fermented the honey and everything all at the same time. It came out really well for him, but I wanna try to make it a little bit more traditional. So we're only going to ferment the apple juice and some apples today. I actually froze my fruit this time <laughs> uh, and it is very squishy. I also tried to see if there was a meadery who made their own version of Shushan. I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find any other recipes, nothing. The only way to drink Shushan is to drink it in Brittany. It's still like the traditional drink of the country. It's Shushan and cider. Uh, cider has grown in popularity in Brittany just because it's more affordable than mead. I tried to look and see if there were any specific apple varieties or anything that I should look for. Brittany, I guess, has like 600 different varieties of apple trees. So I cut up, I sanitized, cut up and froze two Konzi apples and two Granny Smith apples. Organic, as you can tell, they're already starting to yellow and get icky. That's what happens with organic apples. They tend to do that very, very quickly. What I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to just use a half a gallon of apple juice, put in the apples, ferment this together. Maybe in about two weeks, I'm going to add three pounds of buckwheat honey blended with water. Booty butt poof, booty booty butt poof, booty butt poof, booty booty butt poof. Got some hot water here. I'm gonna be using D47 yeast. This is field day organic apple juice. The only ingredient is organic apple juice, so. Then I'm gonna add my bag of apples. Just dump that on in there. Woo! Yummy! That look nicey nice. Also smells really good. I think I used about two pounds of apples. I don't know if that's enough or not. Maybe. And generally you aerate the must for about five minutes or so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rehydrate my yeast. I've got a half a pack of D47 that I'm going to use. Now that this has been sitting here for a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and take a gravity reading. So I have no idea what the gravity of apple juice would be. I hope that there's 
enough starting sugar in here. <laughs> making a mess, making a mess. Starting gravity, 1.060, which I think is pretty decent for a start because I'm planning on adding about three pounds of buckwheat honey. So this should be nice and sweet. That is how it should be. Lalvin D47 only gets up to about 14-ish percent. Of course, yeast can be pushed beyond that. I wish I brought a spoon for this. If my yeast is stuck to the sides. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's all nice and milky. I'm just gonna dump that right in. I'm going to close this up. Perfect in schlag. I'm gonna shake the heck out of this. Oh yeah, it's foamy. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach my airlock. Or put in my airlock and uh, call it good. All right, so that is it for now. I will update you in about two weeks with this. And then we're gonna add our honey and uh, yeah, see how things are going. I'm pretty hyped. <laughs> all right, this is just gonna go sit on the floor amongst all the other meads down here. I wanna thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. Please subscribe, click the little bell icon thing, and I will see you next time. Bye.